Hello and good morning, Nonan of Nine, Nonan Knox here, and I bring another Mindustry video. Today I am going to be showing off a simple delivery system, and I am going to be featuring the Novas for the, well, the delivery. If you are new to Logic, I recommend watching the earlier tutorial videos. I shall have them in the description down below. And as such, well, let's get started with the short tutorial. To show off, we will be using the microprocessor and a sorter with the container. The sorter shall determine what to bring and it's going to have an on and off switch. When it's null or not configured, it'll be off. Let's say the stake lead. It'll go ahead and grab some lead. And with that, you can do a lot of things like remote crafting or building units. Now to build the logic. You're going to take a sorter and link it. And we are going to add the beginning stuff. We're going to start with the desync. So rand, wait, not zero. Rand, wait, within operation of rand. Add the numbers and add a weight and weight. With that, we are going to add a sensor. We are going to get the configuration for the sorter. So at config and sorter one. We are going to add a jump if sorter C is equal, strict equal, so the triple equal to no. And that will be there for when we decide to turn the system off. Now, new sensor. This will be when the code loops back around and checks whether or not the unit we are controlling is under control or this process is control. So, controller at controller in at unit. And now we have to jump if the controller is equal to this processor, so at this. With that, now we need to get to the binding. So let us go ahead and grab Nova. So at Nova. We are now going to check if it is free or not. So sensor for controlled. At controlled in at unit to get the information of the unit that is currently bound to. And jump controlled is equal to false at an end because that's where we want it to end and loop. Oh, now we can start with the controlling or the commands. So sensor, we need to get the information of the unit. So the held capacity, or the item capacity of the unit. So at item capacity in at unit, we are going to want the total that is currently holding. So held total at total items in the unit. And we want to check what item it's holding. So held item at first item in the unit. We will use that to compare with the sorter. Now we need to locate our core. Do not want the enemy core. Core X, core Y, or home. We'll name it core home. Now we want to, since we're using a support ground unit, they have the ability to fly. So we need to give them a boost. Boost one. Now we can approach our core. Core X, core Y, radius 6. And now we can take some items. So we are going to item take from core home, the sorter configuration, so sorter C, and as much as the unit can hold. Now we're going to add an N here. We're going to add a 
just in case, we're gonna go ahead and copy this. And instead of taking an item, we are going to drop an item. This will be if it has less than the cap. So, item drop. Employ home. And code cap. So, we're going to add a jump. If held cap. No. Held total is greater than or equal to one. We also need another jump. If held item is not shorter C. No, it'll go down here. You know, it'll go past it. And now we need if held total is equal to held capacity. Actually, you won't want to move this. So we're going to add in here, move this down. That will go to this. If it happens to not be the same, then we go and deposit it. But if it's the same, then we can continue. So now we need to take it to the container. So, sensor, let us get the coordinates for the container. So contain x at x at unit. Next, we are going to do contain y at y in unit. With that, we should have the coordinates. So, unit control, we can now approach the contain x and contain y. Uh, make sure everything is spelled properly, or things will be wrong. And a radius of 6. And it'll approach. Once it's there, we can have it... Let's see, item drop to container 1. And of course, the held capacity, so held cap. With that, that should do the stuff. Now we need to get the unbinding. So, we're going to add an end here. We are going to add a jump. We are going to call it unbound. Unbound is equal to 1. We're going to get another jump. We're going to do within core. And if within core is equal to true, that way we know what to do. So we're going to take the sorter C equals null and put it on unbound one. Now since none of these are true, it'll do the command. So locate our core, so false, or x, and core y, and core home. We want to approach our core, or x, core y, radius of three, and we want to add a within to track. So when the unit is within the core, and we name it within core. And with that, once that is true, it will now go to, not that one. We want it to unbind, and then we want to set unbound to one. Once unbound is to one, that means the unbind only triggers once. Move that there. And now we want to oh, set these things. We also almost forgot this. And one last thing is to reset unbound back to zero when we want it to do something. Put that right there. And with that, oh, and this, I almost forgot that. And with that, it should work.
Ooh, we forgot something, did we? Contain X, contain Y, contain X, contain Y. Oh, wow, a, that was a mistake. There we go. All right, with that, we have it done. One last thing to show off before ending the video. You can do stuff like this. So, power type mixer, coal, sand, and lead. And then for the megas, we want a lot of silicum. We want some lead. We need some graphite. And we need metal glass and titanium. Eh, more silicon. And with that, that is the uh I can speed this up by being one of those. And with that, that is a simple delivery system that you can do. And then when you're done making whatever you need to make, you can easily turn it off. This is actually missing some... Did I not put graphite? Oh, because... Why are you stuck? Hey, grab a new one. With that, I'll see you guys in another video. Later.